بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس سیشن فوکس از آن پولائٹنیس اینڈ سوشل لنگوسٹکس آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو ووڈ بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا کانسیپٹ آف پولائٹنیس ان ریلیشن ٹو سوشل لنگوسٹکس ویل ایٹ دا آؤٹ آؤٹ سیٹ آف دا سیشن اٹ ووڈ بی اے گڈ آئیڈیا ٹو ڈیفائن واٹ از پولائٹنیس in order to define what is politeness we need to understand that the idea of politeness uh, that is in general life is completely different from the idea of politeness that we are talking right now about in general life politeness means to be um, polite spoken to be soft spoken not to be harsh as uh, you know uh, speaking etc however in uh, social linguistics and in pragmatics that is another branch of linguistics the idea of politeness is something more than that now what it is um, in linguistics social linguistics or pragmatics is important for us politeness if we try to define that is what encodes social distance to help you understand how politeness encodes social distance let me give you an example if when i am talking to somebody for example in urdu and for example if i address that person uh, with um, tu or i address that person with the second person with tum and i address the third person with aap and i don't tell you who is this tu and who is this tum and who is this aap still you can have some idea of my relationship with the first and the second and the third person you can very wisely guess that the person whom i has i have addressed as tu is either a very a person who is very frank with me very friendly with me or is of lower status than me the person whom i have addressed as tum is of equal status or is younger and um, you know um, the relationship is informal but not that informal as is it was in the case of tu and the third person i have addressed as aap that person you can understand very uh, easily is somehow superior to me superior in terms of social status class status professional status um, you know older in age for example um or that person is very distant to me i am not very close to that person that person may be a stranger to me etc you know stopping on a street i cannot address somebody as tu or tum i would address as aap even the person if the person is younger to me so you know how very close i am to somebody how very distant i am to that person my language choices would tell that the way i would address that person would tell that this is the basic idea of politeness in pragmatics and social linguistics so politeness encodes social distance the kind of social distance that we have from somebody um being friendly or being less friendly being formal or being informal etc it is encoded in language through politeness so as you would have noticed in the case of my example politeness tells who speaks to whom politeness actually is a social norm it is a set of social perspective or um, a set of uh, social rules that tells us that a person who is this close or that distant how would we talk to that person well my dear students brown and levinson were the first uh, two people who presented the uh, the idea of face and they presented face theory well let me explain what is face a face is the um, identity of a person that he or she wants to um, show socially it is the social image of a person so you know for example how do i want to present myself how do i want to see people um, what kind of a person i am let's suppose if i am sitting in my office and one of the colleagues um 
just opens the door of my office and says something for example in a very casual way in punjabi to me as i am in the middle of a, a kind of official meeting probably i would not like that why because this does not match with the idea of face that is my image of myself in the society because i want myself to be projected as a very you know a profession oriented person who when in a professional role would uh, be in a meeting um, you know doing some professional work would like to be very formal in that so you know uh, this face theory is like how a person likes uh, himself or herself to be presented this is the desire to be like uh, a certain person and not to be imposed to be you know a uh, other kind of a person or to be different from that uh, i would not go into the details of that because that then would go into the area of pragmatics that is another branch of linguistics but here i would from the social perspective and the social linguistic perspective i would just refer to face threatening act or fta a face threatening act is an act which deliberately threatens the face needs of the others when we speak to the other being impolite in such a way that we threaten that particular perspective that that person wants to have about his or her personality in the social context so you know we code our this relationship with everybody in the society through politeness strategies and um, if you look at your own context and if you try to explore how uh, for example by you, you know um look at these two choices give me your pen can i have your pen look at these two choices give me your pen is an imperative you know you are giving an order when you say this you do not leave a choice for the other person now what would the other person do should that person say no i don't want to give it then that would be a very bad situation you know so my politeness uh, strategies should work in a way that instead of saying that to a stranger or to an elder or to a colleague i would say um, can you please give me your ball point which would be politer as compared to you know the first option so you know politeness is an important concept in sociolinguistics